Welcome to our next Quick Start video about how students can use Lumen One to catch up without feeling called out. Our goal with Lumen One is to eliminate race and income as predictors of student success in college courses. One challenge to that goal is the very different preparation that students often have before they enroll in your course. We know many students spend time and money in no credit remedial courses, and that feeling unprepared can exacerbate for many students the feeling that they might not belong. So today we're gonna to talk about how the Lumen One readiness check and content is designed to help every student succeed in your course, and about how you can use your faculty engagement center to support that success. As we think about the Lumen One student journey, we're gonna be focused on the activities that students can complete before class. Students told us about how devastating it can feel when you think you're prepared for class, but then you realize by reading the material or listening to a lecture that there's some critical background information you might be missing. And it often feels like you're the only one. Students told us they wanna be able to quickly catch up without feeling called out in front of their peers or their professor. And to do that, let's talk about the readiness check. The readiness check is an assessment in every single module. I'm gonna click on a study plan, and you'll see that the readiness check is the first thing students are asked to do. They're shown a set of important skills for this module and prompted to check their readiness. Students told us it's really important that this doesn't feel like a gotcha, which is why you'll see clear student-facing outcomes on that first screen. The readiness check is designed to be a short assessment where students can quickly answer questions to help gauge how well they understand the key background skills or knowledge that's going to be important in the module ahead. As they go, you'll see they're getting immediate feedback, not just right and wrong, but an explanation. Our hope is that for some students, that explanation on its own might be all they need to trigger information they've already learned or to learn the important skill. On their final page, students will be able to see which skills might need additional review, as well as their answers for each question and that explanation. When students return to the study plan, you'll see that the study plan updates to give them immediate feedback on which skills need review. When they click in, they'll see a quick mini lesson that's designed to teach them that skill as efficiently as possible. These often include problem solving strategies and lots of try it's where students can make sure they're getting it by trying problems. And as they try them, they'll get immediate feedback on right, wrong, an explanation, and they can also see the right answer. The goal is that students can do this catch-up material on their own. It's designed to be fast and targeted, so they can do that catching up without feeling called out. Now for you, your Lumen One Faculty Engagement Center is how you can use the data from the readiness check to drive your instruction and your outreach. As a reminder, the Lumen Faculty Engagement Center is an instructor-only research is an instructor-only resource. It's part of your Lumen One course materials, and you'll see it right inside the list of materials that you imported into your learning management system. There is a lot in the Faculty Engagement Center, but for this video, we're gonna be talking specifically about module highlights, which is where you'll see data from the readiness check, and the student list, which is where you can understand individual student proficiency. So first, let's talk about the student list. When you come into your engagement center, it's the first link. You can click student performance, select a module, and you'll see data for that module, including an individual student's readiness check status. If it says needs review, it means they missed at least one question about the skills inside that readiness check. If it says proficient, it means that they're ready to go. This is a quick way for you to understand which students have completed it and also which students might need some time with those key background materials. There's also a section of your engagement center called module highlights. This is where you can see class level trends for the readiness check. For every prerequisite skill, you'll be able to see how many students need review and you'll also be able to see their individual names so that you can reach out for additional support. 
So how do you make the most of it? First, encourage students to complete that readiness check. Completing their readiness check does count towards their study plans overall participation score. So encourage students to use that quick assessment to both get their points and also to understand where they might have gaps in their background knowledge or their background skills. And then again, find ways to help students catch up. If you notice that most of your class is struggling with a key skill that's important in the course ahead, you can build that into an upcoming lecture, or you can send additional catch-up materials to individual students or the entire class. For now, thank you for listening, and as always, thank you for teaching with Lumen One.